Welcome back. We are here looking at the U.S. indexes. We're going to look at the S&P 500, the Dow Jones, and the Nasdaq. This is going to be my daily forecast for uh, Tuesday, um, October 6th, 2020. And uh, today, most of the uh, stock market is rallying. Um, there are stimulus hopes um, um, at this point. And uh, Donald Trump is also doing much better. So that is basically what the headlines are are, are, are telling us. Um, however, the technical indicators for these markets are probably not as rosy as, as the headlines are. Uh, we are rallying, but it's not a significant rally. We are up around 1% at this point on the S&P 500. But we are, again, running into this area of resistance. And before <clears throat> sorry, before we can get to through this area, we will not go much higher. We have additional trend line that goes through here that we also have to break through. Um, and at this point, I do expect this market to basically uh, to turn around. I know the headlines are saying stimulus hopes and so on. But if anybody has followed uh, basically... Um, the politics in the United States Congress recently, I don't have a lot of um, a lot of hope that there is going to be any stimulus before the U.S. elections. I may be wrong, but at this point, they are like eight hundred billion dollars um, off between them, so between the Democrats and Republicans. So there's a lot of work that has to be done, and. I just can't imagine that um, passing before uh, the election. So, so um, we may see green candlesticks due to positive news, but I do believe we'll go back towards the 100 moving average before we ever go to the all-time highs. So, if you look at the technical indicators, the MACD is fairly positive. The RSI is fairly flat, and the the stochastic is it's it was basically turned around. It has rallied to the upside of the, today, but I do expect us within to tomorrow or Wednesday to basically run into major resistance at this area here, and then turn around to, towards the downside. Um, to the upside, if we were to break this resistant area then there's nothing stopping us from taking, going to the all-time highs. Um, this is not economy. It's not the world economy doing better. The, economy, the world economy is doing really badly. The U.S. economy is also doing really badly. Um, and this rally is mainly due to stimulus hopes. And I just think that a lot of traders are going to get really... Uh, tricked into uh, this rally because it's not very likely that we'll get a major stimulus package before the election. Maybe wrong, but that's just the way I read the United States politics at the moment. I don't think that is very likely. So if you look at the Dow Jones, Dow Jones is also rallying. We are running uh, into this resistant area here of uh, 28,000. Next resistant area is 28 to uh, 28,374. And after that, it is basically these highs up here at 29,000. If we were to break through here down to the downside, and then uh, we have these lows of uh, 26,700. So... Um, the Dow is trading above the 50 moving average, will, which will act as support. Um, and at this point, we may see this Dow, the Dow go all the way up to 28,374, as we did here. But after that, I do believe that Dow will turn around to the downside. Um, the technical indicators are fairly bullish for the Dow Jones, so... This may take another two trading days of positive uh, gro this, uh, of growth before we go to the downside. If we look at the NASDAQ, 
So the Nasdaq has not rallied as much as the other, uh, as for example, as the Dow Jones as the, at this point. Uh, it did get rid of that. Uh, we are above the 50 moving average and these exponential moving averages. And uh, for those that have seen my uh, my uh, analysis of the tech uh, industry, uh, the tech stocks are doing fairly well. Most of them are up one and a half to two percent today, and uh, that is of course affecting the Nasdaq positively. Um, at this point, I do believe we'll go towards back to the hundred moving average. There's a lot of resistance above here, and. I just don't see us rallying towards the upside before the election. I just don't see that happening. Um, so, but we, if we were to break through this resistance, then we'll go to the all-time highs. If we were to break to the downside, then we have these lows of, uh, of two weeks ago at uh, 10,729. And we also have the 100, exponential, uh, 100 moving average just underneath. So, hope you find this video helpful. You're welcome to support our channel by subscribing, hitting the subscribe button in the bottom, and hit the like button and the bell button in order to see our newest video. Uh, good luck and thank you very much.